Hi guys and welcome back to another LucaVision video and I want to welcome each and every one of you straight back to my channel and straight back to another Hey you! Me? Yeah you! Are you a Eurovision fan who is struggling to create a top 37 for the 2023 season because of the toxic side of the fandom? <sighs> yeah. Do you want a top 37 and a musical taste that'll be admired? Yeah. Well, look no further, my friend. I am Perfect Paul, and I am here to make your dreams come true. And all you have to do is follow my lead and give in to peer pressure. So <laughs> let's go. <laughs> okay. Now, before we get things started, you're gonna need to know the big five. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about the big five countries, doofus. I'm talking about the big five golden rules. You follow these bad boys, and I am telling you, you will be on the road to success, my friend. Easy street. Golden rule number one, conform. We are not here to celebrate diversity. Even though the 2017 slogan will have you thinking that, it's not what the fans do. So you are going to have to do your research, mister. You need to see what's popular and pretend you like it. Rule number two, read the comments. You click onto any YouTuber's top 37 and you will see a plethora of comments. People telling you what they think is correct. Because as we all know, opinions don't exist. Take heed in their word. <laughs> because you are wrong and they are right. Rule number three, smile and nod. Perfect. You need to please everybody. What do you think this is, freedom of speech? <laughs> we don't have that in 2023. Rule number four, and this can be a tricky one, curveball. Now you want to throw a random song into your top 10 to make it look like you are an individual and have your own personality. That way you can claim you're so quirky and you have an odd taste. When in actual fact, it's your favorite of all time. And rule number five, and this is an important one, just make a strong top 10 and do not, I repeat, do not reveal your places 11 to 37. That way you can be as unique as you like and nobody will know. So with those five golden rules in mind, let's create a top 10. Say it with me now, guys. Oh, it's time to be frank. Let's rank. Now guys, as I reveal this top 10, I will be showing you some comments to back up my theories and my thoughts behind these placements. Feel free to cut and copy this top 10 and use it as you wish. Use it on my Eurovision scoreboard. If we all have the same top 10, the competition would be so boring. But at least we would all agree. Now this is a rough tutorial, so these songs are going to be in no particular order. It is up to you to place them where you wish. But I would definitely include the Netherlands. So many comments have already said, in case you didn't know, that this song was written by previous winner Duncan Lawrence, which by default means it's perfect. And because it can evoke such emotions in one person, obviously means it can evoke the same emotions in you. If not, you're heartless. Okay, I also really suggest putting in Austria for the simple fact that everybody likes it. There's not one person I've seen out there that does not like Austria. That way you pleased everybody and it doesn't matter where you place it. Now it's time for rule number four, curveball. Throw in one of the most random songs you can think of that you haven't seen much fanfare for online. In this case, I recommend Albania. Throw it on in your top 10 at around seven, just so it makes your top 10 look quirky, individual, and unique. Okay, next up, I highly recommend looking like a good Euro fan and patriotic. Go ahead and throw your home country in there. So in your case, Luke, I recommend the UK. It makes you look like such a great person supporting your own country. <laughs> and let's not forget, it's a bop. Now we are switching it up to rule number two. Read the comments, and in this case, make sure you put in France. It's popular, it's in the big five, it's a bop, and there's a real appetite for all as era. Now is the time for rule number three. Smile and nod. In which case, I recommend putting Spain in your top 10, regardless of if you like it or not. As we all know, Blanca Paloma's song is art. And like with all great art, it can be interpreted in many different ways. But not for Eurovision. Apparently, everybody has to interpret it the same way. So throw Spain in here and just smile and nod. Also, I highly recommend putting Sweden in your top 10. I would probably say around the fifth position because Lorene has a lot of controversy at the moment. 
Half of the fandom love her, the other half think it's generic and crap. So please both sides. Halfway down your top 10, Sweden lovers will love it. Sweden haters won't like it, but they'll be pleased that it's not another top with Loreen at number one. Everyone wins. Now with three left to go, I highly recommend putting in Israel. Noah is a very popular artist in Israel, and she is a very talented singer. After reading comment after comment, it is clear to see Noah is a fan favorite, and it will save you so much hassle if you just include her somewhere. I don't care if you can't get into the song. Smile or not. With these two last songs, these could easily switch between first place and second place. Both of which are Armenia and Finland. The people love Finland so, so much. After reading some of the comments from Luke's Top 37, even if you have it in eighth place, people are still not happy about it. You could pour your heart out telling everyone how much you love this song, but unless it's in first or second place, nobody cares. And finally, with Armenia, read the comments. Save yourself so much grief. Lie through the skin of your teeth. Put them in at number one. Keep everyone happy. Conform. This one covers all five of the golden rules. Conform to the fan favorite. Read the comments and avoid them. Smile and nod. Even if you don't like it, pretend. Before curveball because even though it's a fan favorite putting it up there at number one is still unexpected and there we go there is your perfect top 10 now luke please enlighten me what have you learned from this experience okay paul from your video i have learned that i basically need to lie through the skin of my teeth to appeal to the masses to get likes i can't have my own opinion i can't be unique I need to look at what's trending, what people like, and just try and please everybody. An opinion is not just an opinion. When an anonymous user claims that, I don't know, let's say for example, Germany is the best song out of everybody, then they're correct. So that's the right answer. Music's not subjective. Music is right and wrong, like colors and science. Perfect. <sighs> yes. Uh, 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 uh. And don't forget one important thing. Don't celebrate diversity. I can see you've learned a lot from this video. And I hope that you guys at home have learned something too. Now go out there, you little scamps, and create that perfect top 37. Or should I say, top 10. I've been Perfect Paul, and it's been great teaching you all. If you guys love Eurovision and you love the season, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button, that subscribe button, and that bell notification button. That way you can stay up to date with all of the other videos I have coming out on this channel and you won't miss a trick. But all that's left for me to say is thank you so much for watching. Please stay safe, look after yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody. Goobay.